There's something important we need to speak about this week, and that is the possibility that sometime in your lifetime you may be exposed to nuclear or biological warfare used against our country. I don't know which country you're watching in, but any of us could potentially be exposed to something that we didn't want to be. And there are ways that we can prepare ourselves and our families for that. So stay with us as in the next few minutes we talk specifically about just a couple of recommendations I have for how you might be able to prepare yourself and your loved ones for the event of a nuclear attack. We are not filming from my fallout shelter today. In fact, this is just out in my little camper, which I love to share with you, but it's probably not nuclear ready or safe from any kind of biological attack on the, on the country. I do think it's important for each one of us to start the conversation, and that's mostly what this video is about. I want you to go out and talk to your family and your loved ones. It's something we just kind of avoid because we don't know the correct information. And to be honest with you, I've done a huge amount of research, and I can't say that I have found the perfect source of information to direct you to, to find just the information that you need for your situation and your part of the country, etc. I think we shouldn't be afraid if we have God with us on our side individually and in our home we have nothing to fear but it is important for us to be also prepared so for myself I went out and researched and have gotten a gas mask that I think that is important to at least share with you and tell you the benefits of I think if you are going to purchase one this is definitely what I could recommend and feel very confident about in fact, there are many that I wouldn't recommend to you, and that would be pretty much any lesser gas mask than this. So what this is right here is it's made in the United States. I do like that. It's NATO certified and used as an Israeli gas mask. They have a lot of threats often, almost daily, and so they prepare themselves and they want the very best gear. So. Some of the things that I like about this, just so you know what you're looking at here, this is a CBRN mask. There are lots of masks you can get out there that are cheaper that have just one or two of those letters, or maybe three, but not all four. That stands for chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear. So this gas mask is made to handle all of those four different types of warfare. Now, of course, a gas mask is n not any better than the filter that you put on the front. So in just a moment, I'll talk about the filter that you want to go with this. But this gas mask is made, it's a CBRN mask, so it's made to handle all four of those different possibilities of warfare. This one here that I'm holding is called the SGE-1 403 BB and what that all stands for. I'll write it down below the video with links so you can get yourself educated more, but you can actually get it with a silicone gasket. Um, you want it to have a very nice tight seal against your skin around your face and you can get it in silicone or the BB version, which I have, is the butyl rubber that it's made with. And so if you're allergic to one or the other of those, you can just switch it off as needed. Now, this one is nice because it has three ports here. This one is for the filter, as you can tell. These are different ones that you can use, like uh, hooking up to a microphone. Um, it also, you can get the optional drinking tube that comes with this, but it has to be mounted from the manufacturer before you order it. You can't go and get an aftermarket thing or jerry-rig it yourself and expect a good seal. So you might consider that if you want the drinking tube, that's a little extra and you can get that also added on here. Um, I love that this one is rated for up to 800 degrees Celsius on the face. That means it can handle up to 1472 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, on this face mask shield. So that's a lot of heat that this can handle and I'm thankful for that. It can handle chemical and biological warfare agents including um, mustard gas and there are many gas masks out there that are not made to handle that. So I wanted the one that did. Uh, 
you you want one that is sealed and certified and has the correct documentation with it there are a lot of fake gas masks out there that are, are by they're real gas masks but they're made by uh, manufacturers who try to fake some of the details on them and you don't want to trust those the way that this is made is it comes with a strap that you hang around your neck so that literally as I hang this around my neck, let me just show you, the, the gas mask can hang down on my chest like this and in the event that there was a need for it, if, the, if we were under threat or I had heard there was something to be afraid of uh, that was imminent, I would already have this right ready to go hung around my neck and then when it's time to strap it on I've already got the uh, mask in position so I can just slip it over my head. It also comes with straps that are adjustable looks like six straps and they all adjust so that you can get the perfect fit to be a nice tight seal around your head once you've got the mask on. Let me say one more thing the gas mask you don't want to have um, you need it treated so that there is no chance of fogging up inside. That's really important and that's why you're wanting a high quality gas mask. So it's got the right kind of breathing apparatus inside of it so it's not going to fog up inside. Now the the filter that you're going to get for it is about oh 40 bucks I'm going to say. They range between 30 bucks and 50 bucks and if there was a threat imminent I think that the price would probably go up. I should talk about this the mask itself is going to cost you several hundred dollars I would say plan on at least two hundred dollars for this mask. Now the filter being thirty to fifty dollars I think I paid around thirty five for this. Wonderful I want to keep it in its seal till the last minute it keeps the shelf life longer because incidentally these have a pretty short shelf life in my opinion. They only last for about five years before you need to get a new gas mask filter. So keep it sealed, keep every part of it sealed, don't go and experiment and unwrap it and play with it and breathe through it a little bit because it's going to immediately uh, be on its usage route and once it's opened and, and put into use this will only buy you eight hours of time. So if you're going to pay that much money for a gas mask, if you're going to get yourself uh, the right kind of filter, you better get several of these because eight hours is really not a long time for one filter to last and it's only going to buy you a little bit of time. All right, so get yourself the right kind of filter. You want to make sure you check. If you have to call the manufacturer, do it, but you want to check on the expiration date. Each one of them is going to be labeled and you'll know when it was manufactured and when it's going to expire because if it was made like this one was made last year, it's only got four more years left of lifespan before uh, I need to replace this very one, even if I've never opened the seal of it. Okay, I'm going to put this on. You're wanting a tight seal all the way around your face like I said before. So think about that if you've got beards or lots of hair like I do. You've got to have a way to maybe even put on a shemag or a bandana or something like that before you put this on. And you men may want to go ahead and shave. There it is. I don't know if you can even hear me well. But I can breathe well and it doesn't cloud up the front or anything. I could, I could get this tightened. There it is on the side. Let's see here. That's what it looks like from that side, and that's what it looks like from this side. And it would have this on the front. All right, like that. Lastly, I wanted to show you this. You're going to hear a lot of nuclear websites say, hey, you need uh, potassium iodide tablets, right? And so the probably the most common one I've seen is this Iosat brand. And I did a little bit of my own research. This here is how many? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14. This is 14 tablets, right? And they're individually sealed, which I do like. So I could tear them off and hand a couple to different family members. And this has a wonderful long shelf life up to 2024. So I'm thankful for that. 
Okay, I've probably missed a few details. I want to encourage you though, it's worth it if you are at all uneasy about nuclear warfare, go ahead and protect yourself and your family. But if you're going to do it at all, do it right and get the right kind of equipment. So the, the gas mask and filter that's made for all four different versions of nuclear warfare, again, chemical, biological, radiological, and nuclear, those are the, the four main ones that you're going to want to want protection from. We haven't even begun to talk about where you need to hide yourself. Do remember that the more layers of, of um, protection you have between you and the nuclear fallout, the better. So you're trying to think, okay, under a house or in a root cellar, or if you're in a high rise, up at a certain floor level, depending on how tall the, how many stories that high rise is in your metropolitan area that you might find yourself. But get educated. Go out and look at the uh, diagrams that are available online of what's expected in your area of more higher threat areas and lesser threat areas. And also find out where you should place yourself and the time that you have to get to that safe place in the event that something would go down. It's only right to prepare for these big world events that seem so impossible. Prepare now while you're not afraid so that later, if you were tested, you already have a plan made and it's much more, uh, you're much more in control of yourself and your family, your situation, and thank the Lord, you're also much more at peace and have a lot less fear than those people around you. Thank you for taking the time to join us. I hope you will go out and get yourself the equipment that you need for your area. If you're not afraid of this, don't even worry. I'm not telling you you have to get anything at all. But this is what I've done. And go ahead and start the conversation now. Share this video with someone you love. And let's meet again next week. Until then, God bless you. Before you go, I want to read just a quick verse out of Isaiah 57, verse 15. For thus says the one who is high and lifted up, who inhabits eternity and whose name is holy. I dwell in the high and holy place and also with him who is contrite and of a lowly spirit to revive the spirit of the lowly and to revive the heart of the contrite. We have hope and it's worth spreading. And we know that he is coming again to get us. So I hope that you'll go and spread the word today.